I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this combination CCNA and CCNP video practice exam. Today's exam is called Name the Command, and as I show you a few screens here that will give you some URLs for additional free resources we've got set up for your Cisco Server 2008 and Network Plus 2009 studies, I want to tell you the format of today's exam is a little bit different than what we've done in the past. I'm either going to show you a configuration and quickly describe a scenario and you need to give me the command that will do what I need to get done or you'll just need to give me the command that resulted in this particular output. So as always you can always pause the video for a moment or two if you need to because we do go through these pretty quickly because I want to go through and give you the explanations and a couple of pointers to go along with it but at the same time don't pause it for too long because we want to get used to what we're going to see on exam day. I'll also be scrolling around a bit here because I want to show you the entire output here of what command. What command resulted in this output? Let's go to the next question. What command resulted in this output? Next question. In this particular scenario, if I want to disable dynamic frame relay mappings, what should I type in here? Under the NCAP frame relay command, what should I enter there? What command resulted in this output? And none of these are obscure commands. They're ones you need to know for the CCNA and definitely your CCMP exams too. What command resulted in this heavily truncated output? <laughs> I did cut off a lot uh, of this particular output, so that's another clue. It's verbose, and what we're really interested in, though, is in the top two lines. So related to that, if this end is the DTE end of the connection, on router 3 in our next question, this is the DCE side. I typed something in after the IP address, and the interface was already open that brought the line protocol up. Now I will tell you that physically the interface was fine. What we were seeing was serial one is up, line protocol is down. What combination or what command did I type here to bring the line protocol up? What command resulted in this output? And it has been cut off here as well. I didn't, not showing you all of it. But what command resulted in this output? Okay, let's head to the next question. Just a quick question here for you. What command will clear your Cisco router's IP routing table of all its dynamically learned routes? What command will actually do that? And then finally, what command resulted in this output? Alright, let's go back through the questions here and see what's going on. This is show interface trunk. And it's always going to show you from left to right uh, what ports are trunking, what the mode is, the encapsulation, either .1Q or ISL. Status is either going to be trunking or not trunking, so we're glad to see trunking here. And what the native VLAN is. But again, this particular command is show interface trunk. This particular command, obviously, it's got something to do with VTP, and it's show VTP status. Very common command for troubleshooting VTP configurations. If I wanted to disable dynamic mappings of frame relay, what I'm going to type here is no frame inverse ARP, because that's actually what performs that dynamic mapping is inverse ARP. This particular command, very common command, it's show frame map. And of course, you could put show frame dash relay map. That's the full command. But this is definitely one you need to know to do any kind of troubleshooting with frame relay. This particular command is show controller serial followed by the number, which I didn't put. It could be either 0 or 1. And I'll put 1 here. You're going to see a lot more information under here, but generally that's something you would send to Cisco TAC. It's not something you and I as network admins spend a lot of time working with. This is what we're really interested in because it's going to show you what kind of cable is directly connected to that particular interface. And on the other side of that, if this is the DCE end of a DTE DCE direct connection, you need to put a clock rate here. Now without that clock rate, 
the interface would be fine physically and that is what I mentioned that physically serial one here was up but the line protocol was down so that indicates there's some kind of keep alive issue or a clock rate issue and entering the clock rate in that particular uh, situation will bring the line protocol up. This is debug PPP negotiation. We have uh, debug PPP authentication as well, but that's not going to show you every single bit of information about everything that's going in and out. You see the O and the I there for output input. It's just going to show you the authentication information. But if you want to see the entire system, the entire thing, so to speak, it's debug PPP negotiation. If you only want to see the authentication procedure, just type in debug PPP authentication. That escape sequence to abort, by the way, notice they don't tell you what that is, but you've watched my videos before, you probably know what that is. And since we sent a ping, we see that it's control shift six twice, one right after the other. What command will clear your Cisco router's IP routing table of all its dynamically learned routes? That is clear IP route followed by an asterisk. And that's actually what I used here to force a RIP routing update. But the actual output that I asked about here is shown by debug IP RIP. And that's going to show you what routes are being advertised, perhaps some that are inaccessible, perhaps by route poisoning, perhaps. Uh, but it's going to show you all of that great information. So if you've got any kind of RIP issue at all, debug IP RIP is definitely the first one you want to run. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to take this video practice exam. Plenty more of free videos, practice exams, fully illustrated tutorials at thebryantadvantage.com as well as my YouTube channel. And we've got a new Network Plus 2009 dedicated website as well. And you can always visit the blog for free daily exam questions, webinar announcements. We do plenty of free webinars every month and lots of other great stuff. So I invite you to come out and see us on the blog. Thanks again for your time. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.